What's up guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Android 5.0.1 Lollipop on the Verizon HTC One M8. Now, as you guys know, Verizon is pretty slow on updates, uh, but the HTC One M8 hasn't received Lollipop yet anyhow, but you can run Lollipop on the HTC One M8 thanks to CyanogenMod. 12. Now, there is no official build of CyanogenMod 12 yet. The maintainers of CyanogenMod 12 have been producing nightly updates for the HTC One M8, and they are becoming more and more stable as this thing progresses. It's actually in a daily driver state right now. Most everything in this ROM is working. There may still be a few bugs here and there because it is beta. Once again, it is not official, but it is almost there. So what we'll do today is I'm going to just show you real quickly that we are on Android 5.0. CyanogenMod 12, we'll go to About Phone, and you guys can see that we're on Android 5.0.2, CyanogenMod 12. This is the build from January 5th. It is currently the newest build. Today is January 8th. I'm sure there will be another nightly that comes out within the next day or so, maybe even this evening. But like I said, the maintainers are just really pounding out builds pretty regularly, and they're becoming more and more stable as they go. So I will include a link in the description of where you can download the ROM itself and also the G apps. You'll have to have both files. You'll also have to have your bootloader unlocked. You'll need to be S off. You'll need to have a custom recovery installed. I'll be sure to link you guys to my guides on how to do those things. And once you are prepared and you're ready, what you'll need to go ahead and do is reboot into recovery. Okay, so we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. Uh, you can use an app called Flashify that will allow you to reboot into recovery. Uh, if your ROM, if your current ROM has the ability to reboot into recovery, you can do it that way, or you can simply hold volume up and power uh, while you're booting up, and that should get you into the H boot mode, and you can go into recovery from there. Okay, so once you're booted into recovery, the very first thing you're going to want to do is back up your current ROM. If you're stock rooted, you're definitely going to want to have a clean stock root backup. So make sure that you click the backup button, swipe to backup. That's going to take two or three minutes. Once the backup's complete, you can actually go into the restore folder, verify that the backup is there. Now, one reason that you'll want to have the backup is so that you can go back to that point, uh, just in case the bugs are too much for you, because once again, this is an unofficial build. If for some reason the flash goes wrong and uh, you are in a soft break, you'll be able to recover yourself uh, if you do have that backup. So always make sure that you make a backup before flashing a new ROM. Once you have your backup, Go to Wipe, go ahead and swipe to Factory Reset. Once you have Factory Reset, you'll go into Install. If you've downloaded these files directly to your phone, they should be under SD Card and Download. And as you guys can see, I'm in SD Card and Download. You go ahead and check the unofficial build of CyanogenMod. Then click Add More Zips. Then go to the G Apps here, and then swipe to Flash. Now the Flash should only take uh, two to three minutes for both files. Once that is completed, we'll tell you that it's been successful. Then you can just go back, go to reboot, and then you'll reboot the system. Now, one thing that a lot of people do is they get impatient when the phone's booting up. The very first time that you boot up CyanogenMod, it can take 10 to 15 minutes. You're going from KitKat to Lollipop, and it is a totally new system. All of your settings, everything has been totally erased. So it's basically, it's like it's booting up for the very first time. So this could take 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, just don't freak out if it takes a while. If it takes any longer than 15 minutes, obviously you'll want to go back into recovery, wipe data again, and then you should be good to go from there. So this video is just a how-to guide. We'll cover the ROM itself in a review later on. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.